Binary Judy. The story continues. But first, let's recap, shall we? I've already proven that she never asked a question. In fact, she hijacked the thread. I've also proven she did it with intent. Three minutes after he blocked her, she had a five minute plus video loaded to her channel in protest of being blocked. I've also proven that she's perpetuated this war with over 60 videos, most of which mention Volker by name, and mention some kind of war that he's supposedly waging on her and that he's harassing her. I've also proven that she solicited funds in the name of WikiLeaks to her PayPal account. And she has been turned into both YouTube and PayPal, even though when she heard of this, she removed the PayPal link and the information about her Gmail account from her channel. Now, I got really suspicious when she hijacked the WikiLeaks video when it came out. That was the second cause for publicity. We know she did it for publicity. We know she did it to benefit her channel. We know she did it for profile. Now why would someone do all that? Hmm. So I poked around. I wanted to see what I could find about Miss Judy on the net. And I found some interesting things. And together, with a brilliant mind like Jeffrey's, you should see what we found. Wait. I'll let him tell you. I find it highly appropriate to turn on some music as I am to take you all to the abyss of the darkness under sea. An old business lady goes by the name of Judy Lapointe. This fish is bigger than I anticipated. Although it's dreadful to see how evidently it is that she can hold an opinion so strongly that it seems to count as fact. In the eyes of constructed discourses, a woman like Judy Lapointe has nothing to gain and everything to lose. The track record has it that the owner of the domain, the peoplesvoice.info, tried utterly hard to get the site online. But in two years of time, it ended up getting the status of suspension instead. Hmm. Now how can a domain get that status more than once, if not of technical difficulties standing in her way? That's right, the peoplesvoice.info is a domain registered at GoDaddy web hosting, and I have endeavored to find out how accounts and domains can gain the status of suspension, as it appears to be a generated dynamic page that applies as a redirect on all the domain's pages and folders. I have seen this before. Owners of their very own domains seeking help on forums, asking web experts to explain how CGI redirections can be stopped or at least avoided. From personal experience, I have gathered that professional webmasters discourage people from using CGI scripts, unless it could be successfully used for malicious purposes. However, in Judy's case, this is not the deal. In Google's cache, the content it has saved from the peoplesvoice.info, as well as it got recorded by the Wayback Machine, Judy seems to favor PHP, a basic system written in PHP that allows users to sign up and log in. It's a basic dynamic content system that one can either download or write herself. However, the downloads often contain a small public credit notice at the bottom of each page. Judy seems to have written her very own pages, if you would ask me. They look pretty basic, even for an amateur. And as far as I know, cheap scripts don't need pretty looks. Only a cunning master. Remember Shock of God and his cheap fish page? However, what bothers me is that the cached website has disabled me from ripping the actual scripts. Google's cache only reveals the static display of the content that was there at the time being. If only this applied on Shock of God's page, who was too afraid to leave his own fish page up for more than 20 minutes. Now to put the technical part of the scam into perspective, let's run a who is on the domain thepeoplesvoice.info and extract the registrant's email address, which leads me to unsecretarygeneral at gmail.com. 
This one rings a bell. Especially when it contains such highly appropriate name that is the perfect candidate for a fish tank record. That's right. The account is an official belonging to an individual enterprise with a mission to extract without fair play. I've asked the question before. Is this truly her Gmail account? Indeed it is. You see, when you sign up for a domain, the very first email you use as contact address is passed forward to any who is database that stores domain records. When you change the contact email address, it takes a while to get updated in each and every who is database. And when domains are no longer available due to determination from a lack of paid bills, the who is database reports that in that no such record could be found. The only person in control of that contact information that who is can read and display is the owner of the domain. Unsecretary general at gmail.com is a real email address controlled by a real person and does not have exactly the status that one wants it to have. On almost every search result you can see and judge for yourself, the email reputation is not in good standing. Strangely enough, the next bit has escaped the eyes of many. At first sight, I thought this fish was to be a small one, but to my surprise, Judy Lapointe has been a very, very busy woman in business and scams. The People's Voice.info is not the only one that belongs to her. She owns a shitload of domains, all used for the same purpose. The same phishing of email accounts and people's wallets. If not for donations and shoving useless products down people's throats, the least she could have achieved is a fake lottery website and a mass sale put on domains that had estimated values that could help individuals and families to escape their financial crisis. And if you think that this is all, rest assured, this granny has lots more in store than you expected. Judy is no ordinary woman with simple views and simple appeals to petty emotions. She has been extremely busy in the business life. Eli and I like to call this one a professional victim. Selling hard luck stories and manufactured drama is one thing, but going after people's wallets without informing them? Uh, I'm not sure what to say about it, but it's pretty obviously deemed to be highly unwanted even in the legal world, Canada included. The old woman believes that her methods still work and after excuse and excuse after another one, all she has left is a meaningless retirement and a YouTube channel. She has all the demons of hell in her head and her only salvation is to vent them on the internet. Anyone who still buys what she sells should know that she is full of shit. Judy Lapointe is to me a combination of shock of God and how the world works. These people do not deserve praise. They get my contempt. Alliance of Demons? Who are you? Who do you work for? I'd like to know! We are our own entities and we work for no one. We work for no one. How do you call these moments again? Oh, yes, checkmate. <laughs> Should we receive any copyright or privacy claim, you know the drill. Feel free to mirror this video.